I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor and today we are going to talk about the second wave of COVID-19 in the country. How deadly is it? How quickly is it spreading? Who is it impacting the most and how do we actually beat this virus? Now to give an answer to all these questions, what we've done is we've made a comparison for you. We've compared the first wave that happened in September of 2020 to now the second wave in April of 2021. And we looked at this comparison of several data points to try and develop a picture also to give you some trends on what exactly is the second wave looking like. First up, some absolute numbers really. Well, the first wave, we call it the first wave roughly around 17th of September because that's when India hit roughly a mark of almost 98,000 cases in one single day. After that, we had seen a drop in cases suddenly it came down it was all good in december january feb but in march cases went up again and now cut to april we are back at one lakh cases daily a mark which we had never touched even back in 2020 so what does it tell you it tells you that the virus is now infecting more people in one single day but that's not the only thing that we need to understand we need to understand Yes, it is infecting people, but how quickly is that happening? So look at this data now. From 8,000 to 98,000 back in 2020, we traveled that distance between cases in about 100 days. Cut to the second wave, 2021. We've gone from 8,000 cases to a lakh cases in roughly about 50 to 60 days. Can you imagine? So this tells you that not just that the virus is infecting more people, but it is also infecting more people more quickly. Let's talk about deaths now. When it comes to deaths, back in September of 2020, we saw that almost at that peak, almost 1,200 lives were lost every day. That was the peak, 1,290 to be precise, and that happened on the 16th of September. Maximum lives lost in a single day. Cut to the second wave. We've seen maximum so far go up to 714. Now, before you jump to the conclusion that the second wave virus is infecting more people, spreading more quickly, but not taking so many lives, take a pause and listen to this. More and more doctors now are telling us that we haven't even hit the peak of the second wave. We are just getting there right now because there is no sign of any cases coming down at this point. And second, the thing to remember is that since the virus is infecting more people, more quickly, we haven't really seen the number of deaths are only likely to increase in the coming days. We don't know those who are in the hospital, how or how much and how many of them will manage to survive the virus now. So tragically, what I have to report to you is that experts across the world right now are saying that this is only the beginning. It is going to increase here on. Now, the next thing that I really saw in the comparison between the first wave and the second wave is the number of people, or let me put it this way, the age bracket, which is seeing the maximum impact from the virus. And this is where it gets really fascinating. Because back in the first wave, we saw above 50 seeing the maximum hit from the virus. So India developed a new vaccine strategy. We started vaccinating our older generation first, vulnerable more to ensure that they are safe. Cut to the second wave. What numbers are telling us right now is that it's not the old who are seeing maximum hit from the virus. It's actually the young. It is actually people who fall in the bracket of 18 to 40 years of age that are seeing the maximum impact of the virus that are getting infected the most in the country. This tells you that India's young are now in the clutches of the virus and they really need protection. How do we do that? Now, one factor for that is also because more and more people are going out to work. Now, these are people who are in local trains. These are people who are stepping out to work. These are people who are saying, you stay at home. I'll go out and do the groceries and I'll do the work. And thus, in, in that sense, getting infected to the virus, carrying it home, taking the elderly, making them more vulnerable as well, even the young, even the kids. So this is an interesting calculation on how the second wave, so far, what do we have? We have more people infected, more quickly infected, lives lost, 
and now younger people getting more and more impacted. The next statistic is actually also a very fascinating figure. I looked at the areas and the states which are seeing the maximum impact from the virus. All right. So we looked at the top five states which had most cases in the first wave and now the top five states now. The funny part is it's almost the same states. But how is that possible, right? Because if these states saw the maximum cases, then these are the states which should have the maximum amount of antibodies. But guess what? That's not the case anymore. That's not happening because the virus has mutated. Virus is taking a new form. It is getting smarter and it is finding new ways of survival. It is infecting the same people and reinfection rate also something that we have to keep a very close eye on. Sadly enough, while the virus is getting smarter and adapting and mutating and spreading more faster, taking more lives, infecting younger people, human behavior is not being so smart. We are still out on the road without a mask. We are still traveling. All our non-essential travels are still happening. We are still meeting people without social distancing. Norms, if you look at it, from the first wave to the second, first wave, there was no inter-road travel happening. You needed a certificate for that. Air travel, non-essential was cut down. There was a fine on masks. All of that is not happening anymore. In fact, it is because of these new trends now that more and more chief ministers are stepping out, experts and doctors also saying that we have to open vaccine for all if we want to fight out the second wave. This is at a time when the chief minister of Maharashtra and the chief minister of Delhi both have written to the prime minister of the country asking him to open a vaccination for all. Like I told you, younger people getting more impacted in the second wave. Maharashtra chief minister says, give it to everybody above 25. Delhi chief minister says, give it to everybody above 18. In fact, Maharashtra chief minister is being a step ahead and he says and he believes something what all the experts are saying right now, that the hotspot areas and districts within Maharashtra need to get vaccine priority. That means districts like Pune in Mumbai and other places as well, they need to get priority of vaccine so that the chain of the virus and the chain of the spread is cut down. These clearly are the things that is really required at this point. And there's one more thing required, which you can do, which is get yourself vaccinated. Whenever your turn comes, whatever vaccine you get, get yourself vaccinated because the times ahead don't look so good. And if experts' predictions are correct, we are in for a long-term COVID-19. In fact, the director of AIMS in the national capital, Dr. Randeep Guleria, told me that 2021, we could see COVID surviving till the end of the year. We clearly don't want that. We clearly don't want that extending as well. So do your bit. Keep yourself and your family safe. Follow COVID protocol. Stay indoors if not absolutely essential. And get yourself vaccinated. Bye-bye for now.